Welcome everyone. Today we are making a must try of the Italian summertime cuisine, la pasta fredda, which literally translates to cold pasta. It is a fresh and healthy pasta salad that we can store in the fridge and eat it whenever we like. I usually bring it to barbecues and cookouts as a support dish and people just love it. Let's see what we need. As usual, quantities are in the description. Half pound of short pasta. Better if pasta has a large holes uh, like this mezzi ricatoni. A can of tuna, about a quarter of a pound. A few olives. Do your guests a favor and use the pitted ones. A quarter of a pound of cherry tomatoes. A few leaves of basil. A pinch of oregano. And some mozzarella cheese. This is optional and we can use any cheese we like. Then we need extra virgin olive oil and salt. Please don't forget to subscribe. It's free to you, but helps me a lot. Let's start cooking. First, let's place some water on the stove. The only cooked ingredient here is pasta, so let's get that started. While we wait for our water to boil, let's prepare the ingredients for our salad. Wash your tomatoes carefully and with the help of a saw-toothed knife, cut them enough. We don't need to cut our tomatoes in small pieces. Uh, cutting them in half will suffice. Next, let's put our tuna in a bowl, and with a fork, let's break it in smaller pieces, just like that. We can now continue adding our ingredients, starting with our olives and oregano. Then we add some salt and our tomatoes. We pour abundant extra virgin olive oil on top. We break a few basil leaves with our fingertips and drop them in. We can now mix our salad ingredients. Notice that we did not add mozzarella cheese yet. That's because mozzarella will lose water into our salad and we don't want that. Also the cheese will turn yellow, which is not pretty to see. Meantime, our water is boiling, so we can put our pasta in and then some salt. Remember the rule of thumb is 1 liter of water and 10 grams of salt for 100 grams of pasta, which is the correct serving of pasta for one person. Also, look at your pasta box to learn how long you will need to cook it al dente. When pasta is ready, we drain it. Then we put it back into our pot and add cold water. This process will obviously cool down our pasta, but it also removes the excessive starch which will cause our pasta salad to become sticky and chunky. Now that our pasta is cold, we can add it to the other ingredients. Mix everything and add some extra virgin olive oil and a pinch of salt. This is the basic recipe, but we could also add other vegetables like corn or peas and others. Now it's time to serve. And this is when you want to add some more basil and finally cheese. Absolutely fantastic. You can store the rest of your pasta fredda in the fridge for a great summer meal or snack. Buon appetito.